um, one of the constant sort of um, leitmotifs of critics of the patent system is that invention would take place anyway, that people are just naturally creative, and that therefore patents basically are a form of monopoly that impedes innovation. There are a number of law school professors, in fact, have written arguments like this. I, I'm curious, this is your, from your point of view as an inventor, would you have developed the Steadicam had you not, if had you thought that you would not be able to earn income from it? And when you started developing the Steadicam, how much did you know about patents? I'll try to be brief on this. I, I, <clears throat> my first invention was a way of silencing motion picture cameras by putting them in a, a vacuum housing. And I bumped into Lee DeForest, who patented the idea of a camera silent in a bell jar in 1929. And I stopped because it was clear to me that, you know, even if I did invent it, it wouldn't, I, I wouldn't earn enough money from it to, you know, earn a living. And part of my incentive to do the study cam was to, you know, improve my life in addition to the, the, the function that that gave me as a cameraman. So I honestly think that if, if the patent system didn't beckon, if the idea of getting rich from it wasn't out there, you know, luring us on, I think I might have stopped at an earlier prototype and made remarkable films of my own and sadly watched people copy it, you know, because your incentive to I mean, I had, in those dollars, <laughs> I had a lot of dough in the thing, you know? Uh, and it was the idea that it could be protected that allowed me to make a license. And in fact, we, we, we protected that patent for its entire life. It was never successfully infringed. It's a wonderful era in my patent existence. So no, I don't believe it for a moment. I don't think our creativity would be as rich without it.